you know, without the autopilot, the ailerons are sure to move a little bit more freely. My grandfathers were carpenters, and so I've seen the, the tools that they used back in the 40s, 50s, and man, they had massive forearms because there were no electrical tools. So your forearms were your electrical motors for turning screwdrivers, drills, you name it. But I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more chopping here. So here we go. There you go. Oh, much more space to work in here. Excellent. Bonzer altimeter radar. Up for grabs. I'll be showing you how I take the uh, the radar itself off the wing soon. So this looks like original wiring and it has a blue, red and green wires. Um, so I don't know if that instrument replaced something that was that was there. And I'll have to go and look at maybe the original diagram of the panel to see what the uh, what the radar replaced. There was obviously something there. And if I know what it is, then I know that this wire was for powering that device. And most likely, it will have a breaker. Interesting, because it's in the left wing. So if we've got wires going to the left wing, that would be for the signal coming from the radar. Let's just forget it for now. And voila, we have the Bonzer system complete with the antenna. Let's see if we can get more of this out, out of here. Look at these tubes. These tubes were for the airspeed indicator. I never realized they needed to be this big, but they were. All right, let's throw some of this junk out here. This is celebratory. Yay. All right, enough fun. But I spent literally two hours trying to unscrew this, these brackets so that I could remove this panel and it just wouldn't give. I only got one out of the four. And then I was trying to drill it and I just couldn't get underneath there. There's just too many, too many things blocking access from underneath. Then also I'm six foot two and contortioning myself into that position was extremely painful. So all in all, I'm just happy that I decided to do it this way nonetheless. And then here, I forget what this, I forget what these are for. So these switches, this was for the Loran on, I guess you would click it on. Oh no, the light would show when it's on. You'd have Loran nav for navigation. This was a strobe. Okay. Pull on was for pitch. And that had to do, that was the, the yellow vacuum hose. Slave, DG, IAP, that's the autopilot one. So one or two, depending which one, if you were following the nav or if you were following Presuming the second column, right? So there's two nav columns, so maybe you're following first nav column, second nav column, slave, all that good stuff. Um, it was quite complex. The new stuff is easier to use, obviously. And uh, what else did we have up here? Here, Compsys was the breaker. 
microcompsis compensation system. I, I don't know what that means, but I think it had to do with this. Anyway, and uh, yeah, this made of fiberglass. They must have redone this at some time because the radar altimeter was not original. So they would have redone this panel. All right, well, that answers that. I'm, I'm keeping this, I'm not gonna throw it away. The, these wires are from the Loran. So I'm just gonna section them off here. Um, these were the Slave 1, Slave 2 autopilot wires. So I think we're already disconnected. So that's this stuff. All right. Remember that? I think everything's more or less disconnected except for this, which is the vacuum system. And I'm going to disconnect these manually. And this is for the DG. So I'm going to take that out manually as well. So all right, I got the final piece off and the last thing I'm doing is I'm just removing this strobe part so it can be sold, reused by somebody else who wants it. If it doesn't sell I might just give it away. I don't really care. But whatever I sell from this airplane goes towards helping the restoration of this Mooney Mustang. And this is a Nova Star timer. 14 to 20, oh, 11 to 28 volt. And what does it do? Polarity reversal will severely damage it. It's Hoskins Novastar timer. And, what I, and it was for the strobes. Anyway, if you have a use for it, let me know. But yeah, celebratory throwing in the uh, in the hanger. That's how I like to do it. We have this which was for the DG. Well, it was written DG, but we're not quite sure. And now we have a lot more access to the panel. These will be relocated. So I'll be removing that. The new panel will go on like this here won't need this trim. And then there'll be another panel on this side. This I need to remove still. And these flanges I need to remove as well. Because that was angling the panel towards me like this. But I don't think I need to do that. So yeah, it's a lot, looking a lot more spacious. Stay tuned for more.